Hello traders, welcome to Bunex Investment Group. In this video, we are going to talk about how to trade with the TDI or the Traders Dynamic Index. I'm sure you've come across a lot of videos on this particular subject, but a few can actually give you the right way to trade with this particular indicator. So the Traders Dynamic Index is basically a tool that combines sentiment as well as price value and uh, it is actually helpful when we want to see whether market makers wants to manipulate or actually issue what we are seeing on the price chart. So this part or this indicator on the bottom part of my chart is what we call the Traders Dynamic Index. I'll provide you at the end of this video uh, if you do the, inst the instructions that I'll give you. So basically the Traders Dynamic Index is actually uh, an indicator that incorporates volatility bands, the ones in blue, and then the RSI line or the relative strength index, the one in green, and the signal line, the one in red, and the moving 50, like that. So we are going to talk about uh, on how to use on each and every scenario that you may come across within the markets, whether we are going to confirm an entry or whether we are going to get an entry uh, uh, to... to to get the actual entry within the markets. So sit back, relax, and learn something new. If you have somewhere to write, that would be perfect so that you will be able to follow through as we go throughout the lecture. So basically, setting this up on your charts will actually require you to input the indicator that I'll provide you. And uh, that indicator will only required, will be required to be copied and pasted within the data folder of the MT4 or basically an MT5. And for mobile, you can actually input all the indicators individually. So basically, that is how you will go about that. Firstly, this indicator will be used as a confirmation too. That is basically when we want to see if what is taking place on the market, on the price chart, which is this side, is exactly what they intend to do. As you all know that we trade institutional market maker and all our trades will be trying to follow what they've printed on the charts. We are just people who follows what the big institutions have done. We cannot move the charts or move the markets at will because we do not have that amount of uh, money that is required to drive the markets. So basically we try to mimic what they want to do. So the Traders Dynamic Index will basically give us an idea of what is taking place. The first thing is to always starting by counting of levels. In this particular case, I will simply count a small cycle so that you can see how we confirm an entry. So this is basically the first level to the downside and a level is basically an impulsive drop to the downside or to the upside that shows involvement of market makers. So from this particular high to this low, we can see there was consolidation and that consolidation was actually broken at this particular point. So we need to make sure that we see clear breaks of market structure for us to validate a level. So this was the second level. And after that, we can see a pullback to the 50. There was consolidation and another break of structure was issued at this particular point, meaning that we had this as our third level. So at third level, we expect to see market to reverse. I always talk about this on this channel. Third level is uh, a sign or is basically a point we expect the market to reverse. And of course, that always works at a probability. Nothing is guaranteed within the markets. We always try to do this on a probability. That is, when we make our entries, we should have calculated our, stop, uh, our lot sizes so that we have calculated risk. We do not uh, uh, think of getting 100%. So in this particular case, you can see there was this pierce to the out, uh, outside of the, of the bands. We call that piercing a shark fin. And when this happens, it, it actually gives us an idea of a probable reversal in the rightful market context, right? By rightful market context, we are saying at the right point, we expect to see a reversal. So when we see this, the next thing is now to look for what we call divergence. 
a peak formation low or a peak formation high must have what we call divergence. So in this particular case, we can see the first leg being issued, but the second leg was way below the first leg like that. But on the Traders Dynamic Index, we can see a rise of the relative strength. Like in this particular case, we have this rise. So what is happening on the charts is telling us to go down, but the relative strength is telling us to go up. This is a sign that the market makers are looking to manipulate whilst they were working this law. So basically, this is the first, uh, 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 the first use of how you can trade with the traders dynamic index. You count levels, you reach peak formation high, you find the divergence, and when divergence is there, you can enter because it is showing you a rise of relative strength index. The next point is now to give you signals. This is one of those points that a lot of traders want to use uh, this indicator. Give you entry signals, and these entry signals can be issued on the H1 time frame. So in this levels, we can see that we had level one and this was a peak formation low. After a peak formation low was issued, the next thing is now for us to get what we call shark fins and signals, right? So in this particular case, we had a shark fin. When we get a shark fin, we are saying the relative strength index or the RSI line has gone outside the bands. And when that RSI line crosses with the red line or the red EMA, it gives us a signal. This is now a signal to buy. If we check on the charts, we can see we were told to buy by the TDI uh, at this particular point. So this was a buy and stop loss always below structure. Let's see other points. We can see this was a point where the market issued, uh, it issued this particular uh, 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 shark fin like that. And after issuing that shark fin, we can see uh, a crossover of the relative strength and the signal line. It was actually a buy at this particular candle and the market went to the upside. This also is a shark fin and a crossover of the signal line and uh, the, 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 the RSI. It's also a buy and the market went to the upside like that. So we are saying wait for a shark fin and then wait for a, for interaction of the RSI line and the signal line to make your buy. Basically, that is how you can use this uh, trader's dynamic index. And if you require uh, uh, this indicator, please communicate with me via uh, our telegram.